Unveiling your feelings, mastering air one's grievances. Hello, everyone. Today, we're diving into an intriguing phrase that's not only common in English but also rich in meaning and context. Air one's grievances. Whether you're navigating through daily conversations, formal discussions, or even workplace communications, understanding this phrase can empower your English communication skills. So, let's break it down together. Air one's grievances refers to the act of expressing dissatisfaction or complaints about something, especially when those concerns have been pent up or held back for some time. It's like opening a window to let out stale air, but in this case, you're letting out your frustrations or problems so they can be addressed or understood. The phrase combines two key concepts, air and grievances. Historically, to air means to make something known publicly or to express openly, and grievances are complaints or protests against something perceived as unfair. Put together, when you air your grievances, you're openly sharing your complaints with the hope of finding a resolution or simply to be heard. Let's look at some examples to understand how this phrase is used in context. In a workplace setting, during the meeting, James took the opportunity to air his grievances about the new scheduling policy. Among friends, Lisa needed to air her grievances about how the trip was planned without considering her input. These examples show that airing grievances can happen in various settings, highlighting the importance of open communication and the expression of concerns. 1. Be clear and specific. When airing your grievances, it's crucial to be clear about what is bothering you. Avoid generalizations and be specific about your concerns. 2. Choose the right time and place. Find an appropriate time and setting where your concerns can be heard and addressed without unnecessary distractions or interruptions. 3. Focus on constructive feedback. Aim to present your grievances in a way that focuses on solutions or improvements, rather than just venting frustration. We hope this exploration of Air One's grievances enriches your English vocabulary and enhances your communication skills. Remember, it's not just about expressing dissatisfaction. It's about doing so in a way that fosters understanding and resolution. Thank you for joining us, and we look forward to helping you navigate more intriguing aspects of the English language in our future videos.